I know I'm late to this, but can I just say, Dutton's nuclear costings are complete garbage. Murdoch and Costello Press, that basically just support the Liberal Party no matter what, they had to admit, these costings are shit. Yeah, if you just look at the front page of The Australian, you'll come to believe, oh look at this, Dutton's nuclear costings is 44% cheaper than Labor's. Something they forget to mention, the Liberal Party's plan will deliver 45% less power to the grid, meaning Dutton's plan is actually more expensive per megawatt than Labor's plan. Meaning Dutton's plan will see the decimation of industry in Australia by 2050 and leaving it there would not give the Liberal Party justice of how bad their actual economic modelling is. The reason they've chosen cost analysis over 25 years is because they can hide the fact that the reason they can get that price down even lower to the costing they've got it to is they're relying on coal-fired power stations being on for longer. Coal-fired stations we've already paid for, meaning technically, yeah, their plan is cheaper, but also misses the entire point of going to renewable energy, which is the planet is on fire. Dutton's plan would see 1.7 billion tonnes of CO2 in the atmosphere. That is around four years extra of just CO2 just being pumped into the atmosphere, and Dutton's entire plan hinges on the fact that these coal-fired power stations will actually stay online, where a bunch of people actually run them, saying, we can't keep them open past 2038, and according to the ETU, the first nuclear plant, in the best case scenario, won't even get online until 2040, at the earliest. Meaning when Dutton's first plant is actually active, we'll have all our coal-fired power stations offline, unless he builds a bunch more, and also, just the logistics. We have to create an entire industry that did not exist before now in Australia. And also, it's only expected to see between 4% penetration into the energy grid by 2050. And just remember, across the world right now, any new actual nuclear power plant is having massive cost blowouts. All of these countries that are having these cost blowouts already have nuclear infrastructure. We don't. The one in England has blown out to $90 billion for one plant. Just remember, this is the party that blew out the costing for the NBN, blew out the costing for Snowy Hydro 2.0. Australia, is this really the party we're gonna entrust to actually build nuclear power? And also potentially costing the Australian economy $4.5 trillion. And also, Darton is also fudging the numbers on how much that's going to cost to generate per megawatt. He says it's going to cost $30 per megawatt, when in actual fact it's going to cost $130 to $230 per megawatt, which will see power prices increase by $1,200. Like this video if you want to give Darton the middle finger for his policy, because it is an absolute fantasy.